We are in Colster, searching for some wealth. All in all, this took me about 14 minutes to get all of this. First thing I went for was the spot where the gold bar symbol was. Nothing there, scanning, I mean, I figured out that it's underneath there. All right, but there's no way in from the ground. That means we got to go inside and take the stairs, which means we got to climb over the wall. Here's a quick climb there. And then work our way down on the other side of this building. Once we get down there, we're going to notice that there's no stairs, but there's rocks that we need to break. How do we do it? Well, there's a ledge right behind us. After we climb up the ledge, we got to figure out a way to break those rocks. What I ended up using was a ranged ability, the incendiary powder trap. Uh, hopefully one can get that. Now that we're in, there is a lot of stuff going on down there. Now it gets kind of dark later on. Ended up having to capitulate and go to the torch. Well, not yet. After we get up here, yeah, I did some scanning, had to get the torch. Okay, we've got the torch. We're doing we're gonna do a lot of scanning to figure out how to get around this thing. We end up climbing this way and then climbing down. Had to move this out of the way, moved it a little bit too far, but we can move it back with the triangle and then walk around. That's gonna lead us to the place with a lot of water, also referred to as the Camulo Dunum Bureau. After swimming across the water and going to the door, I realize it's barred. So, what's the next plan? Well, after thinking over for a while, decided to climb up on the left, which is actually the wrong side. Had to go around and jump over to the one on the right side. One is going to notice a pool of water underneath, and if we perform a scan, we will notice there's a key down below. We're going to have to swim underneath there and go ahead and collect that key, which is going to allow us to unlock a door. After we swim out of there, what we're going to do is climb up and we're going to go to the lock, unlock it. We're going to gather some treasure and then we'll notice that one of the doors is barred. What we can do is we can take our bow and arrow and shoot it. Make sure you scan so you can see where the red spot is. We'll shoot that. The other one right there cannot be shot. We can do that once we get out. Uh, but okay. We got our torch again so we can get out of here. We're going to climb back up. We're going to jump across and go that way. Now we got in because we shot it out. A bunch of different things to take here. And... Uh, that's how we get the first treasure chest right there. Now that we have this treasure, the question is how do we get to the next one? We're going to take a look at the map uh, to try to make some sense out of where we need to go. And as one can see, we need to head underground a little bit east. What we're first going to do is return to the room with all the water in it. And then we're simply going to perform a scan. We'll see where the chest is. We'll go ahead and dive down. And one has to kind of finagle around until they find uh, the spot where we can go underneath. So we're finagling around. There we go. We can go to a different room. Go ahead and climb up. And then we can go ahead and open that door. Unlock that door because we have the key. And there's the chest right there. And that's going to wrap it up. As always, for more tips in this game, there's a playlist on this channel to make it easier to find. I'll put a link in the description as well as a link in the comment section. Thanks for watching and good luck.